because politics is so convoluted with like you know policy 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 it's like me versus you you versus me there's no human element there's not like this guy could actually be my friend the whole point of an international beach party to me would be like hey get two people together that weren't friends before put them on a beach and you just have them hang out you have them hang out and Oh, they yeah, talk, and yeah. once you reestablish that human element between two people, it becomes a different story. It becomes less about countries and, and more about people. documentary about the United States relationships with the rest of the world. So we're just trying to get people's perceptions about the United States and how we can have better relationships with everybody. Let's say the United States were a 20-year-old boy. It was like squeezed into a 20-year-old boy and the Middle East was squeezed into a 20-year-old girl. Would you go out with us? No way. No way? What if the United States was a 20-year-old girl and you were a 20-year-old boy? Would you ask us out? Blonde or not blonde? You know, there is a wrong perception that people here in the Middle East hate America. This is not true. It's not a question of hate. It's a question of frustration. Frustration with the policies of uh, the U.S. In, uh, in the Middle East, but not at all hate. In fact, there are a lot of good things about America. If you were a 20-year-old boy and the United States was a 20-year-old girl, would you ask us out for a date? Yeah, of course. Really? Oh, yes. Not only on, uh, if I were 20, 30 or 40, I would have done the same. If the United States were a 30-year-old boy yeah. and you were a 30-year-old girl and we asked you out, would you go out with us? I uh, don't think I uh, can... Uh, I'm comfortable with the idea that I consider right. myself a girl. And, uh, could you describe briefly how the United States is perceived by your countrymen and yourself? We like Americans. I think there's a big difference between the American people and the government. One has to distinguish between the foreign policies and, and the people. The open-minded people are fine with America, they like it. But we do have closed-minded people who think that Americans are bad. They don't see that the culture and the people are different from the politics and the government. It's the government that makes all the problem. The people are all fine. If the United States was a dessert, what kind of dessert do you think it would be? Like ice cream, pie, cake? Milkshake. Milkshake? What flavor milkshake? Vanilla. Vanilla? Yes. Do you like vanilla? Yes. I don't like I don't eat it. Oh. Peanut butter. Mango. Carrot cake. I don't know why, but I'm thinking broccoli. Do you like carrot cake? Um, I do. Do you like broccoli? <laughs> no. So you really do hate us? I don't Still hate you. Americans. I love Americans. Except the frosting can be quite fattening, and if you eat too much of it, it can kill you. Is the American government broccoli or the American people broccoli? Government. And so what would the Policies. American people be? French fries. French fries. Do you like French fries? I love it. But you can't have too much of it. You have to be careful because it can be harmful to your health if you expose yourself, yourself to too the much. United States. If you were a 20 year old girl in college and the United States was a 20 year old boy, would you date the United States? Yes. And do you think the United States would be a good date? Yes. If yes. you were a boy and the United States was a girl, would you ask us out? I don't know. I have no problem with that, yeah. <laughs> Why not? No, I don't date in the Western oh, sense. Definitely no sexual interaction whatsoever. No, we don't do that in the United States either. That's just strictly in the media and Madonna videos. Are you kidding? You said if you were in college and you were a 20-year-old girl, you would date the United States? Or let's say that the United uh, States is the girl. I, I thought you asked me being a boy. All right, you be the boy. If uh, you were the boy and you took the United States out, would you give a goodnight kiss on the first date or not? I would start with flowers, flowers, then wine, and Oops. then kisses. Do you think America is a good date? I think America is the best date you can possibly have. Do you feel like our message is getting out there? We don't do a very good job sometimes of helping people to realize all that we do for the rest of the world. But uh, Do you think we can improve our image if we could get more representatives of America to wear ties like these? Because this tie says, howdy, hi, we want to be friends, let's get along. 
This tie says that this senator isn't afraid of anything. It's got these things that could be beach balls, and we're at a beach. What about like an international beach party? If America just threw an international beach party, just a little bit, only a couple million dollars here and there, do you think that would help our image if well, we... Well, the problem is, is that people keep trying to steal our beach balls. It's just that simple. What would you tell us to do to improve our image abroad? To learn more about us, practice what you preach, and people have to be more aware, read more, travel more, study more. You start learning more languages and to watch more uh, channels other than CNN and Fox. Like ESPN. <laughs> respect to other cultures and religions. Do you mean all other cultures and religions or just the good ones? I say take the time to learn a little bit more about what's going on here and you don't have to be sympathetic to the Arabs but you will find out after a short while that a lot of what they're saying is right. It's not such a hard work. It's a matter to pay more attention and uh, respect their own differences because we live in a world of differences rather than a world of agreements. This question of image of the US, it is the policy. Change the policy, the perception will change. In 24 hours. A small thing we were thinking we could do is have a big beach party. You must have been drinking too much. We're thinking that a beach party could bring world peace. If we were to bring Arabs, the French, maybe not the French, Cubans, Venezuelans, the Chinese, maybe a few other countries together, and we had a beach party, and they could all meet each other, then they could go home with a better understanding of one another. What do you think of that idea? I'll be the first one there. Do you think you'd come to our international beach party? Absolutely. If you did get it together, who knows? Who knows what happened? Come feeling that it's always just Have fun, everybody.